Ugh. Dry down my throat. Hi YouTube, FT here. Two yappos. First of all, the house are keeping. I'm smoking my Polish made Briar signature pipe. And in it, I'm smoking Peterson Special Reserve 2011. Let's put a bit of music on. Right, first package is from Mark, Pipe Smoker 1969. Did a bit of a trade, I sent them some stuff to try. What Mark and myself seem to do is, if Mark gets a tobacco and he doesn't like it, I'll have it off him and I'll send them some stuff back in return. <laughs> This is um, Pipe Smokers 1969 Home Blend. Now there's no love note in here, but Mark did send me a PM saying uh, it's got lots of different stuff in it. And I'll list it underneath what it's got in it, because I cannot remember for the life of me. So he said, give it a try. I'm pretty sure there's a bit of no name number two in there. And in days to come, there might even be Sparrow in it, you never know. So thank you, Mark. I'll try that out and let you know. And the other one Mark sent me, it's still taped up, is uh, Tilbury. Um, I've never had this uh, brand of tobacco, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Thank you very much Mark and I know you got my package and there is a little something else coming your way and I'd like to see uh, an envelope opening shall we say being done on YouTube. This is from a Mojo Milk that we know. Bagels and locks and cream cheese. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very, very much, Frank. Shall we see what's in it? Wow, it's loaded. It is loaded. Lucky dip time. Put my hand in, pull it out. What have we got here? Wiltshire from the tinderbox now I believe the tinderbox is Mojo Milt's local tobacconist lucky lucky man having a local tobacconist uh, thank you very very much for that Frank thank you lucky dip pipe cleaners yeah you can never ever ever have too many pipe cleaners thank you so much Oh wow. Carter Hall. Now I actually like smoking Carter Hall. It's a real nice sort of everyday pipe tobacco. And the first time I ever came across it was when John Daffalily One sent me a box. Um, and I've had some from that and it's really nice. So thank you for that Frank. That's really good. That'll go in my uh, new pipe cupboard uh, until I finish the other lot off. Shouldn't look, shouldn't look, what's this? Some more, I say some more, but please, please, Frank, it's brilliant, I love it. It's pumpkin cheesecake.
thank you sir. I want some more. Another one. A tinderbox one again. Mmm. Now isn't that strange? I bought a tobacco to try out called Sherlock Holmes. I'm not sure who it's made by. I think it's Peterson's. Well, Frank sent me Sherlock's Choice. Again, two ounces of it. Absolutely fantastic, Frank. Thank you, sir. Box. Tinder box. Not one. But oh, two. Eight six zeros. <laughs> Brilliant. They've got black heads on them. I haven't seen much of the black heads. I have to check with Frank. They're probably the non-sulfur ones. Got told there's a way of telling. You like them, and if you, and the smell's different. Yeah, I think they are. I think they're non-sulfur matches, but. I might be wrong, but Frank will know, if you can let me know, Frank, thank you. Well, that is fantastic, Frank, Mark, thank you very much, and everyone who sends me packages. Uh, I have noticed recently, I've had three or four packages without any love notes. So I don't know if I've upset you guys, or something, but uh, I'd love to get a love note. Mind you, some of the love notes I've sent out to you are about three pages long, so I don't think you really want to get something like that all the time. So, quick update. I broke into my Shackleton 1907 Expedition whiskey last night. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I don't even care if it's not like the original. Who's going to know? It's just the idea of drinking something that those guys were in the Antarctic making their way to the South Pole 1907 and they possibly had the same taste and drinking the whiskey that I drank yesterday. Love it. Just love it. And I always have it with a splash of water. They say there's two schools of thought on that. Some say you should have it neat. Obviously, if I have it on the rocks, then the ice is going to act as it as it melts as a water. Um, and then there are some that say you should always add a splash of water, a one to one almost of water to whiskey to waken it up, um, which I do, and it was absolutely wonderful. And I might have had one or two too many, but it was a Friday evening and I was relaxing and chilling. So I'll do some editing on that, so it's not too long and boring for you all. And thank you very much for watching. Keep them alight, and until next time, cheers.